Good morning, folks. Earth just got lucky as a titanic blast left the far side of the sun. A powerful coronal hole may give us a magnetic storm early this week. We've got looks at weather as well, but we'll begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours of our star. The calm you see on the Earth-facing disk belies the rage brewing on the far side, so let's check it out. Let's go to Stereo A, positioned behind the sun and watching that far side, so we see a million kilometers of plasma filament across the north with two dark coronal hole patches below. Even with only one image archived from last night, we can see that the filament is now gone. Solar Tsunami Canyon of Fire took its place. It indeed ripped away in the evening hours UTC yesterday. 304 angstroms from Earth's perspective even shows the blast erupting from the northern hemisphere of the far side. And when we come to the coronagraphs of Soho, you can see how dense the plasma is and realize how lucky Earth is to watch that one sailing far afield of our planet. Solar flaring, solar flubbing. Earth facing quiet has shut down a large grouping of sunspots, which almost perfectly matches the group of tropical lows in the West Pacific, by the way. No magnetic mixing as of now and we are expected to be quiet. We're calm in the solar wind as well right now, with speed declining in yellow and density remaining stable in orange. However, solar experts across the world are predicting a major impact in the next 48 hours. This would be from the southern coronal hole now departing, and it is not a coincidence that the same solar structure we used to predict the big quake in New Caledonia three days ago was able to produce such a rumble because it is more powerful itself. Stream expected in the next day and a half or so, and it may be enhanced before or after by small filament-driven CMEs from three days ago as well. Technological and human health effects watch began at KP6, eyes open for the storms this week. And by the way, next coronal hole is incoming on the north, but it's part of the same southern system, so it may be less geo-effective. Folks, the flooding near the Gulf of Mexico is terrible, getting worse, and there is more rain in the forecast. More than a thousand rescues have taken place, and that's just the people. Pets and livestock present other challenges. Anyway, the region should be getting Gulf moisture delivered to a low in Texas today, which will spread along a greater convergence towards the northeast and drop flash floods over a much larger area tonight. Folks, yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall ran down the Earth and Sun's activities, but then we brought in Adrian from Suspect Sky to discuss the ISS feed cuts during anomaly sightings, and also just how Facebook and the elite marketers of the world really affect our community much more than you might imagine. I've got the rest of the world's weather followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.